Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Alex Denonville. I'm the manager of communications for the town of Essex. I'm here with my colleague, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Rita Jabor, and I'm the manager of planning services for the town of Essex. And you might remember us from our appearance in our video about second dwelling units. So just like that video, uh, we're going to be talking about short term rentals. Uh, we're conducting a community feedback process on short term rental accommodations. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, Rita, what are short term rentals? Well, Alex, a short term rental is a dwelling or dwelling unit. When I refer to a dwelling, a dwelling is a housekeeping unit. So it's a single detached dwelling. It could be a, a townhome. It could be a duplex. So a short term rental is located within that type of structure and it's offered for profit or gain by a person or business operator as temporary residential accommodation to a person or person period of less than 28 consecutive calendar days on a continual basis throughout the year or seasonally. So essentially these are not units that are being rented out for long-term accommodation. These are units that are being rented out for temporary accommodations similar to um, rooms that you would rent out at a, at a bed and breakfast or at a hotel. Uh, Short-term rentals are more colloquially known as Airbnbs. Um, that's what the general public would, would regard as a short-term rental. Yeah, and we've seen, I think, in Essex and kind of across uh, the region, at least, we've seen a, an explosion of these kind of rentals. So, um, Rita, how, how are short-term rentals currently regulated? Like, what, um, how does the town currently regulate them? So short-term rentals are not specifically recognized in the town zoning bylaw, bylaw 1037. Hence why we are looking to recognize them and officially uh, regulate them. Bed and breakfast, on the other hand, are recognized, but they are completely different than um, a short-term rental. Okay, so we've, uh, we've launched, uh, the town has launched the uh, survey and we've got a virtual open house coming up. Um, can you tell me what, what kind of information are we looking to get? What does the survey ask? Well, Alex, the survey is, is quite thorough and it asks questions about um, short-term rentals specifically, um, whether the respondent operates a short-term rental, whether that short-term rental is located in the dwelling that they currently reside in, um, whether they see benefit to regulations around short-term rentals and um, asking the respondent questions and uh, regarding their desire to regulate short-term rentals, um, as well as providing them with opportunity for comments on short-term rentals. So as a respondent, you might be a short-term rental operator, or you might be somebody who lives next to a short-term rental, or who might be thinking about actually renting a short-term rental. So your questions, um, or sorry, your answers are really going to vary depending on, on what, um, what uh, stage you are. Yeah, I think that was an important uh, point to make. It's kind of we're not just seeking feedback from residents, we're also looking at um, gar garnering feedback from people who operate short-term rentals. You know, uh, We've also got a virtual open house. It's on Tuesday, June 1st. What can participants expect as part of uh, participating in that event? So the open house is really gonna be an opportunity for us to explore um, the issues regarding short-term rentals, as well as you know the positives regarding short-term rentals. So the pros and cons. We are looking specifically for people who either operate short-term rentals or reside next to short-term rentals from our, from our business community and, and from our general public to attend and participate in the open house because we are gonna have um, a few different categories of, of focus groups um, that, we, that we will be looking to for those uh, types of comments and feedback. Perfect, okay, so uh, we're gathering feedback in the survey. We're also gonna be gathering feedback at that virtual open house. Um, how is that information going to be used uh, in terms of the decision-making process? So no decision is going to be made at the open house, but the information we will take from the open house will be presented to council, the formal decision maker, on June 21st at a special council meeting at 4.30 p.m. So that information will be analyzed alongside um, the responses from the survey and our own research and will be will be presented at that special council meeting by way of a presentation. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, as a reminder, you can find out more information and have links to the survey uh, at www.essex.ca slash STRS. So it's uh, our short form for short-term rentals is STRs. 
so again, it's www.essex.ca slash STRS. Uh, the virtual open house is on Tuesday, June 1st. Um, that uh, page that we just mentioned also has links to how you can participate in that. Uh, I'll drop a link down below and uh, we hope everyone comes out to, to do the survey as well, to uh, participate in the open house. Uh, Rita, did you have anything else to add? I'm just asking anybody who has an interest, even if you want to learn, learn a little bit more about short-term rentals to attend the open house or listen into the special council meeting because it's uh, like anything in planning, it's riveting. Yes, absolutely. Always love those planning meetings. So thank you very much, Rita. Um, again, I'll, I'll drop the information in the information below and uh, hope to get you everyone's feedback. So thank you. Thank you.